Alright, hello everyone. I'm Armin Omanipour, and together with my partner Om, we're going to go over our research paper on the topic of the impact of AI on user experience. So, here's our table of contacts. We'll have an introduction, we'll go over the methodology, some examples, discussion, synthesis, future trends, and a conclusion. So, to begin, AI is basically just the ability for a machine to mimic human-like uh, intelligence, learning, cognition. We chose this topic because we believe there would be a lot of info on it and because we're just very interested in artificial intelligence. So in terms of our research methodology, beginning with our research objective, our objective was to basically identify the significance of AI on user experience in a variety of different domains. And then we came up with five research questions in our paper. How AI generation enhances user experience? What impact does AI powered predictive evaluation have on users? What results does AI automation have on, like in terms of the simplification? And what results does that have on user productivity and performance? What difficulties and ethical dilemmas come from this? What methods do customers view and react to um, AI powered consumer experiences? And then thir our third part of our methodology, the research approach. So for our paper, we took a comprehensive approach to understand the intersection between user interface, user experience, and how AI plays a plays a part in that. Uh, to do this, we pulled from many different academic studies and sources to explore many different top topics such as emerging trends, customer experience, AI applications. And let's move on into some of those topics. We'll start with uh, the e-commerce topic, and this is actually the introductory uh, introduction to that section from our paper right here, this text right here. So in terms of the e-commerce industry, we focused on Amazon, our paper, and particularly we focused on their recommendation engine and their personalized shopping experience. So in terms of Amazon's recommendation engine, what that is, is that it's an AI power system that utilizes machine learning algorithms to forecast products to users with the aim that with the belief that the users will find them interesting and want to buy them. And this manifests itself in the shop as um, if you ever seen the recommend for you section or the products you might like section, that's thanks to the engine. And this is a big, we believe that this is a big factor as to why Amazon became as big as they did and why they have a 37.8% market share in the e-commerce industry. Moving on to the personalized shopping experience. Amazon uses AI to create a shopping experience uniquely tailored to each user to have a higher conversion rate for sales. It features um, product pages, direct promotions, and email campaigns, and it's all designed to satisfy the varying preferences of users. For example, here we have this picture here of the Amazon home screen of the users logged into it. And right away it has the related to items you viewed section that's obviously there with the aims to get users to buy it right away because it matches their buying history or, or, or their view history. And then another industry we studied was the healthcare sector and specifically AI driven diagnostics and treatment plans. So to begin, we'll go over these treatment plans, uh, specifically the uh, IBM Watson for Oncology. And what this was is it was, it's an AI that utilizes patient details together with scientific research to provide tailored treatment suggestions for cancer patients. And the integration of AI into the medical workflow allows healthcare providers to have access to personalized treatment options. Next, we also did a lot of research into wearables like the Apple Watch and the Fitbit, because these things can also monitor important health elements like your heart rate, your activity levels, your sleep patterns, and your, and your how many calories you burn. And obviously the companies benefit heavily from that information because they're able to sell that information specifically to online marketers. And like and the consumer, average consumer doesn't even know that really. And that goes into the ethical part of it ethical ramifications of it and for the second half of this presentation i'll now pass it over to om talk about entertainment and media here i have highlighted two main points content curation on streaming platforms and interactive experience in gaming content curation on streaming platforms so nowadays every big company like netflix spotify or amazon prime 
they all use artificial intelligence to curate the content for individual needs. Second thing we'll discuss is interactive experience in gaming. So many open world games like The Last of Us Part 2 or Red Dead Redemption Part 2, they have this AI driven NPCs which adapt to players action and uh, which enhance realism and engagement for the users. Now let's talk about discussion and synthesis. So in our research paper, we can see two main points, a personalization and customization, challenges and consideration in artificial intelligence enhanced user experience. So for the first part, I have curated seven main points, AI driven recommendation, tailored content delivery, predictive analysis, proactive problem solving, automation and streamlining process, task automation and efficiency improvement. I'll highlight the a few main points. So first of all, AI driven recommendation is one of the major things of uh, personalization. Uh, second thing is predictive analysis as we talked about in our previous slide about content curation. So predictive analysis is useful in that. And I would also like to highlight the task automation, which like artificial intelligence automates the repetitive task, which saves a lot of time. Moving to our next part is challenges and considerations in AI enhanced user experience. So as we all know, there are two sides of a coin. So there are also some things which we would like to be aware about artificial intelligence and I have highlighted eight points here. Privacy and data security concerns, ethical implication of data usage, transparency and content issue, bias and fairness, algorithmic biases in decision making, ensuring fair treatment across user segments, user disengagement and loss of control and the last is mitigating risk of over automation here the main points are the first one privacy and data security concern the fourth one bias and fairness and the uh, eighth one which is mitigating risk of over automation so we always want to have some kind of control uh, over artificial intelligence. We also want to make sure that the companies are making sure that our data remains secure and our privacy is respected. And the fourth point here is bias and fairness. So the, pe uh, the people who are creating AI application or AI technology also have their personal biases. So we need to make sure that those biases cannot be seen in the product itself and the artificial intelligence product should be neutral. Future directions. So breakthroughs in artificial intelligence technologies have led to significant improvement, especially in field like uh, NLP, which is natural language language processing and the use, use of neural networks in deep learning. So this is one of the major step towards the healthcare sector. And we are now using uh, microchips for uh, a particular type of patients. And open AI is also working toward voice and gesture recognition technologies which will be a game game changer to conclude i would say we are excited about the upcoming artificial intelligence technologies but we are also interested in knowing about what will be the guidelines and the rules and regulations provided by countries of different governments 
uh, particularly in the in the field of artificial intelligence at the end i would like to thank you for listening and i i would like to thank uh, our professor without his guidance this thing uh, this thing was not possible so i would like to thank our professor